Most of us marvel at the majesty of wild animals, and I can understand why people want to see animals, like elephants, up close. But isn't it especially tragic when animals are suffering and being abused simply to entertain us? Another round of applause for Ty. This looks like harmless fun, but these elephants pay a heavy price for the few minutes of entertainment they provide when performing in circus shows, giving rides, or making appearances at parades, weddings, or any number of other events. It's certainly no fun for the elephants. Daddy. In their natural environment, these majestic wild animals would live in large family groups, constantly moving, traveling for many miles every day. But it's a very different story for those captive elephants being moved from one location to another to entertain people. Theirs is a life of unnatural conditions, of deprivation, severely restricted space, and ability to move. These mighty animals, built to roam the wild for miles, are instead kept in small pens. In trailers, in boxcars, And often spend many hours of their day chained, barely able to move. Have you ever wondered how such powerful animals are made to be so compliant in public? Trainers claim it's through love and reward, but video evidence shows the grim reality. Training starts young, and the tools of the trade include the bull bulk, used to beat the animals, or to jab them, or to tug sensitive areas with the sharp spike and hook at the end. with stun guns. The animal 
people's life. Pain is regularly inflicted during training and handling behind the scenes. never forget it. So once the animal is in public, there's no need to use the actual weapons, just small gestures with a bull hook, or even the worker's hands or arms is enough to make the animal obey. The elephants know what will follow if they do not comply quickly. Trainers often claim that the abuse of elephants caught on film is not common for just isolated incidents. However, the evidence collected in the United States and worldwide shows physical abuse of elephants during training is the norm. These trainers are working here in the United States right now, providing elephants for county shows circuses, parades, and all sorts of other events. But in truth, how safe can these stressed and frightened animals really be? standing in their lightweight temporary pens, or walking around with children on their backs. How safe is that? Don't buy into this cruelty and abuse. Don't book performing elephants for rides, parades, or circus shows. The animals deserve our respect and protection. And the public standing near large and dangerous animals or riding on their backs are not aware of the risks. It really isn't harmless fun. And it's time to stop. Please, please, help end this suffering.